Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be covering a very special topic for our meta users. What's a meta user you may be asking? Well, that's anyone who uses anything um, that falls under the meta umbrella, right? So like the Facebook platform or Instagram platform or these other social media platforms that are out there. Now we all know it's very easy to sign up for these, these different uh, social media platforms. All you have to do is go to their website, right? Facebook.com, Inst Instagram.com. There's always that big green sign up button right on the front. That part's very easy and has not changed over time. In fact, that's pretty much stayed universally the, sta the same for all of these social media platforms. But what about deleting your account? That can be difficult. And in fact, we get a lot of calls about this. People want to delete their Facebooks, remove their Facebooks, make sure all the information's gone. So this has changed and evolved over time as Facebook and Instagram merged into the meta again underneath the meta umbrella and they became part of the meta. Things changed over time. The UIs, the user interfaces that we use for Facebook and Instagram, they've changed and even how to delete or deactivate your account has changed over time. This has not stayed the same. So as of May 2024, which is the month we're in and the year we're in, I'm going to go over how to not only delete your account, if that's what you want to do, if you want to fully delete your account and information from Facebook and Instagram, that'll be covered in this video and I'll even show you how to do it on screen. But if you wish to deactivate your account, which is the second option, that's also going to be covered in this video. So I was going to do just deletion, but they have two options on Facebook and Instagram. They have the, the delete, which is the full wipe of your information and data. Your account is gone. And then they have the deactivate option, which is sort of like a pause. And that's good for if you want to uh, come back to Facebook, basically, or Instagram, like you decide that you that you're not really sure if you want to fully leave it. So you just want to deactivate it for a time and see how you feel about it. That's also an option. So we're going to go over both options. Again, this is for May 2024, how to delete your Instagram and Facebook. Let's go check it out. So before we don't jump into the deletion and the deactivation info information, how to do that, I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention because I thought this was kind of funny. This happened to me when I went to go film this video. So a while back, I had made an MCW profile on uh, Facebook, kind of like just a side one in order to help with different things that I was doing on this video. Well, interestingly enough, it got banned. It got banned because I didn't use my real name. And when I went to go try to create an account to make this video, it made me put a name in. I kept trying to use a fake name, fake birthday, things like that information that wasn't correct or, or uh, you know, prudent to me. It wasn't actually true to me and it wouldn't let me. It actually would not let me. It kept saying that uh, I had to create a page instead. This account obviously has been uh, deactivated and blocked. It's going to be it's going to be completely deleted soon by Facebook because it violates their terms. Now you, you can't use fake information. Facebook's really cracking down on this, so not fully part of the video, but just something I wanted to bring to you everyone's attention and something that I thought was interesting. So anyway, let's get into the deletion. So here I've created a Facebook page, um, another one, right? I'd use a name this time they made me and I'm going to show we're going to show how to delete it. So let's start with Facebook. First step is to click up in the top right and go to settings and privacy here. It's the first option, right? So first I clicked on the little head frame. If you have a photo, it's going to use your photo go to settings and privacy we go to settings again all right you can get this little message now an account center all this stuff okay press okay right there on the side here we have the meta account center right so everything's under the meta account center now personal details password security add preferences verification so what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on personal details once you're inside of here you can see the accounts, right? If you had an Instagram account, be listed underneath there, but we'll get to that in a minute. So this is for Facebook. You'll click on the Facebook, make sure it's the right one. Okay. Yep. That's the one we want your information and permission. Now I want to stop here before we go any further. You might want to stop in here and download your information before you delete your Facebook. So this is something you can do. You can go to download your information and you can download or transfer your information before leaving Facebook. Now, a while back, I left Facebook. I stopped using them. But before I did that, I needed the pictures that I had on there. I had hundreds and hundreds of pictures, pictures of my kids and pictures of, of me uh, that I no longer had. And I just wanted to make sure that I got all that information. So I actually took the time to download all my information off first. If you want to do that again, it's in the account center, your information and permissions, and then go to download your information. Once you're in here, you can choose the download or transfer your information. Um, and you can either choose all of it, all the available information that they have on you, or you can be specific and choose like videos, 
photos, right? See like different things. You can actually go through and check mark these options. And then once you have everything, you can go next, download to your device, or you can transfer to a destination. Like if you have a USB flash drive or external drive, you can download and move the information over to those devices rather than just your computer, or you can download it to your computer and then move them uh, over later on. It's totally up to you. So just know that that's there. You can download your information. You don't have to lose everything to get rid of your Facebook. So you can get rid of your Facebook and not lose all your stuff. So important to know, right? So once we have that, uh, once you have your information done, you can go to personal details. That's where the actual deletion is. You would think it would be like in all the other options, but it's in personal details, right? They moved it. They didn't move it when they moved it over the meta account center. You go again, meta account center, personal details, account ownership and control, deactivation or deletion, right? So now we're getting into the good stuff. Choose the account you want to delete or deactivate. In this case, I'm going to do the Facebook. And here we go. Here's the part I was talking about. So you can either deactivate your account temporarily or you can do it permanently, right? So let's go through the steps of the temporary. So they're going to make you put your password in shield screen during this time you guys can see that continue okay all right this is temporary i'll be back my face look at all these reasons that somebody might need to deactivate right so maybe you're in the middle of being hacked and you need to deactivate it so that the hacker can't cause more damage maybe you're taking a break because you spend too much time on facebook you have a privacy concern that you want to get sorted out first like a stalker or something you've got uh uh to learn how to use Facebook before you want to use it again. There's a whole bunch of different options. You can give your other, you can give no reason, right? So, but this is the temporary one and then you can continue and deactivate your account that way. Then there's the, the deletion option. If you click on deleting your account, this is permanent. You give them a reason, hit continue. They let you know uh, that this is a you know permanent decision. Once you go through with it, once you continue, also, they will try to prompt you to download your information first. Remember, we, we went over that. They'll try to get you to do it too. They don't want you to lose all your info. So if you forget to download your info back on the other option, you can do it here before you go through with the deletion. So they will prompt you on that. They will also try to talk you into deactivating rather than deleting, right? So pausing rather than fully removing. But whatever you want to do, once you're done, you hit continue and you go through with the deletion, right? So let's back that up. Let's go to Facebook homepage again. Let's say you just signed in and we'll walk right back through that one more time from start to finish. So home screen up in the uh, top right. Now it's showing the picture for me up in the top right here. We have the account. We're going to go to settings and privacy and then settings again. When the next page comes up on the left, we have an option for password and security and personal details. We're going to click on personal details. The first one on the account center option here. And then we're going to go to personal details. We're going to go to account ownership and control. And we're going to go to deactivation or deletion and choose the account. And then you'll get the options. Okay. And that's it guys. That's how you do it. Deactivating or deleting. The same exact process is the same for for Instagram. So let me show you this here. If I was to have, if I were to have an Instagram account, let's go to Instagram.com. Let's sign up. Let's do it with Facebook. Let's continue with the account that I just made. Okay. Can't type today. It's okay. Nobody look at this. Pause that. All right. Didn't see nothing. And there we go. Remember how at the beginning of the video I was saying how easy it is to create an Instagram account? Yeah, well, it is. That's it right there. Boom. Super easy. They never change that. They make that part very, very, very easy. So now it's going to create a uh, Instagram account for me. And I have a Mr. Beast already being suggested to me here. Got to love the guy. All right. So that's how you do it. That's how you make an Instagram. 
Let me hop back over here. So now I reload this and same process, right? So it doesn't matter where you're at. If you want to delete your Instagram account, you go to you can go to Facebook, you can still click on those same options. And now you can see my Instagram account is there as well. I didn't have one before. Now I have one. Now it's showing that there. If you have a Facebook and Instagram account, they'll both show here inside your Meta Account Center, right? They're all controlled through the same area now. Again, personal details, account ownership and control, deactivation or deletion. Now I'm going to choose the Instagram. And same thing, deactivate or delete. Same options with the same prompts. All right, so what if you only have an Instagram account? Well, the process is very similar. So from the Instagram homepage, which is where I'm at right now, at Instagram.com, you'll click on More, and then Settings. And this looks pretty familiar, right? It looks just like the Facebook one we were just going over. Again, it's all under the, the meta. So the meta, you know, it's pretty universal across the board now. Same same exact design. Look, personal details, password, security, ad preferences. So if you're only sporting an Instagram, you don't have a Facebook from Instagram.com, you can just open more settings. Once you're here, you'll do personal details again. And it'll take you to this familiar screen, right? The meta account control. Um, you'll notice that the URL change from accountcenters.facebook.com slash profiles to accountcenters.instagram.com slash profiles only difference right so either way facebook and instagram same approach once you're here your information and permission and then uh, download your information if you need to personal details account ownership and control deactivation or deletion exact same thing from both instagram and facebook i hope this helps everyone if you need to delete your uh, meta account whether it be facebook or instagram i hope this video assists you if it did, please like and subscribe down below and share this video so that others know how to do it. Thank you everyone and stay safe out there. Have a good one.